Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's Anna, and I'm coming with a review and an update. I told you I was thinking about doing the curly girl method. I actually posted that video late. I um, uh, filmed that video and I posted it like three weeks after I filmed it. So I had already started by the time I posted it. Um, so yes, I decided to do the curly girl method. And uh, I like it so far. The first week, I really, well, I do a lot of research, so I looked up Lorraine Messi, I looked at the Diva Curl YouTube channel, I watched all those videos, I watched uh, Mahogany Curl, she talked about it, um, and a lot of other sisters talked about um, the Curly Girl Method, um, and some of the girls on NaturallyCurly.com with different, a lot of looser curls, I watched their videos too, and um, learned how to plop my hair with a t-shirt, all of that I watched, I looked it all up. Uh, went to Curly Nikki's site, everything. So, um, I liked it. The first week, I really stuck to what they said. I first clarified my hair with my Not Today Come Clean. And then I, um, I, I think I conditioned with Giovanni and rinsed that out. And then I used the Kimmy Tube Leave-In. Kimmy Tube's Leave-In. She doesn't have that video up anymore, but I'll link someone else's uh, recipe for it. Because Kim's coming out with her own line soon, inshallah, so I'm looking forward to that. Then I used um, Kinky Curly um, Gel. And my hair looked amazing. I was shocked. I didn't really think that every curl would be defined like that because the curls are so small and I have so much hair. But it really looked good. Um, it, it, and it stood up pretty well. I think I wet it on the third day and put a little more gel in it. And, um, you know, I was going to wear it in a ponytail anyway under my hijab if I was going out. So it held up well. And at night I pineappled it. Um, I plopped the hair the first time with the towel. Um, I, I'll, I'll try to link a video about plopping too. And I didn't really need to do that. That's for people whose curls won't scrunch on their own. And my curls you know, with all that shrinkage, they're going to scrunch anyway. So um, I, I tried a different kind of plopping the next time. So next time I use the, um, instead of Giovanni, I use the Shea Moisture, um, the Shea Moisture conditioner that I had. And I used um, uh, Eco Styler Gel. Um, I just used Not Today that time. I don't think I mixed my own Kimmy Tune Leave-In because it doesn't matter as much about stretching and everything. Um, I don't think the pH matters as much because the gel is going to seal the hair anyway. So I did that and I didn't do it with the hair soaking wet. I shook it out more. I think I put a little bit of the, I kind of took some of the moisture out with the t-shirt before I did the gel and it didn't have the same effect. The hair had to be wet. So, um, so I tried different variations of that for the next two weeks trying to do a little less water. You know, the truth is it has to be soaking wet, like at least for mine to do. It has to be soaking wet. So anyway, I did get the Diva Curl line. Woohoo! This is just the, um, a sister brought this for me. Alhamdulillah. And, um, I, I, this is the travel kit. Um, I got this at, at Ulta for just $29. That was a really good price, alhamdulillah, I thought, because it seems high for such three ounce little containers, but Diva Curl is expensive, so I didn't want to buy all these things. It would have been like $80 or something, right? So I went to try it first. So the No Poo, the shampoo. Love it. First of all, I like the smell of it. It's not too... I, I mean, I don't really like the smell of um, a lot of... The, the, the way they smell the salons. It doesn't have that strong salon smell. It cleans the hair really well. And you can tell that it's moisturized because um, my hair has, I guess, I guess it's called high porosity. It takes a long time to get wet. So I can tell when it's really moisturized, when it's completely wet, because then it'll curl up. But it won't curl when you first do it. or You know, and a lot of things you can tell they're locking out the moisture, because my hair just, it'll just puff up even though it's wet. It takes a long time to get wet. If I was to jump in the pool with nothing on my head and jump out, a lot of hair would just bead on my hair or, you know, <laughs> a lot of water would just bead on my hair. It wouldn't, my hair wouldn't just be soaking wet. It would, I'd have to be under the, the water for a long time doing all this for it to soak into my hair. Which is a good thing, but uh, you have to know how to treat that hair. So anyway, this I could tell that it, it was very moisturizing and the hair curled up and it felt clean, but not squeaky clean like with the, 
purifying shampoo like the Kung Clean. Okay, then the Diva Curl One Condition. It's great. I like the smell of it also. It has a lot of, it has good slip. And um, I could detangle with it very well. Uh, so I detangled with it one time and rinsed it out. And then they said to leave some in. So I wet it again. Let it be soaking wet with cold water. So it would, you know, uh, close the cuticle. And then I put a bunch of this in and I just left it in. Got out of the shower. Then, because there is no leave-in, you know, it's the one condition is the leave-in. It's the conditioner in the leave-in. I use the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. I liked it because it's light. Um, what I found with the Kinky Curly was it keeps the hair feeling more moisturized, but it's, you know, it's kind of thick and gummy. It doesn't feel that gummy once it's dried in your hair. It feels moisturized, but it's just a little too much to me. And the Ego Styler, um, the one I got is a 10 hold, so, and now it seems like almost all of them are 9 or 10. Anyway, um, they measure the hold 1 through 10. Although I wish I'd get one that's like a three. I don't need that much hard hole. Um, the Eagle Style is too hard to me. Um, so I mixed it with water one time and a little okay. But this gel is great. It's a defining gel. And I put a lot of it on. I probably used two ounces of it already. I, I went overboard because I wanted to really do it correctly this time and see the um, results. Because like I said, the first week it was great and then it got like it wasn't doing the same thing. So, um, this time it really did a great job. I did a different technique, though. I didn't plop and wait for it to all do that. What I did was I put it on, I prayer palmed it through the hair, through each section, and then I put my hair in clips and sections, and in each section I took a little more gel and I pulled out pieces, individual sizes of curls. I mean, here is tightly coily, then the curls are smaller, of course. You don't have as much hair in one big ring that you have smaller amounts of hair and tiny ringlets. So I took each se section out and each curl and went down each curl and then I did the next section. It didn't really take that long. I thought it would take forever and I was like, I'm not doing that. But I think Mahogany Curls is the one that taught that. So, hey Mahogany Thanks. Uh, and it worked great. It looked wonderful wet. It looked wonderful dry. I let it air dry. I didn't put the towel on it at all. I let it air dry and, um, it was mostly dry by the time I went to sleep, so I put it in a pineapple, and then I, um, I put a pillow, I put a towel on my pillow, and then I put a bonnet on top of it, and it looked great. It looked great. It felt great. The next day, it was kind of dry, so I sprayed it with a little water, and I used this Diva Set It Free Moisture Lot, and I really liked it. It did refresh it, but my hair really, it didn't retain as much curl. Just the ends really did. It looked stretched. But it was, it looked like a cute wash and go, you know, day two, so I didn't mind. Um, and I really, I really like the line. Only thing I would do is probably after I would leave the one condition on, I'd probably like put some in a different container and add some oil to it because I think I need a little oil. This doesn't have as much oil and, you know, maybe it's just in my head, but I feel like black hair needs a little bit of oil. Um, I'm going to try the styling cream this time. Uh, it says to scrunch through damp hair, targeting denser curls for ultimate conditioning, use on dry hair for individual curl definition. So I might try this um, on the dry hair, like on day two, and then when I wet the hair again, maybe I'll try it on um, wet hair to see how this works. But I don't, I really don't know what the purpose of this one is. <laughs> Let me know if you know. Anyway, that's how it's gone. Um, I can tell my hair is way more moisturized. Um, than it was before when I was stretching it and doing the other things to it. I think the curly girl method agrees with me. I like it. And I think my hair looks good. I don't have to wear those Sealy braids, <laughs> the Sealy braids anymore. So I think it's better for home. You know, I can look cute. Um, and, and it doesn't matter that it's in a ponytail. All that happens is the front part gets stretched out. So that just doesn't curl. The ends of it curl, but the front section so when I take it out it just kind of you know but it's real cute and I really like it and I'm really I feel good about it because it's just it, it's more of an evolution of my natural hair journey first I cut it off and then this is 16 years ago I've been natural all the time first I cut it off and I wore a texturizer or braids and then I started um, I was more afro for a while and I just let it be but I didn't know what I was doing I was in high school and then I wore locks for years and then I started I took the locks out I got rid of the lock cut them off and 
I started to wear only braid outs and twist outs because I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with my texture. And then I started wearing my afro. And then found out about YouTube. Thank you, Keisha. Uh, found out about YouTube and all the girls changed my life. I could do all types of things with it. I learned what my hair could and couldn't do. I, you know, learned how to take care of it. And uh, it grew to lengths like it was when I was a little girl. So that's good. And now this is another part of it to just let it be because if you let it just stay in an afro it's going to break it's too dry it's too tangled afro isn't sustainable for you to grow your hair with um it, you're only going to get to a certain length you probably will never make it to terminal length like it just won't happen so this way it's conditioned it's moisturized and it's more likely that you could probably make it to terminal length you're probably if you're going to do this though and your main goal is length um I wouldn't necessarily suggest it because the hair isn't in protective styles as much. If you're a hijabi, then yes, because your hair is in protective styles almost all the time. So I probably won't have to trim as much as some people would because my hair isn't out. But if your hair is going to be out in the curly girl method, you're going to have to trim it. You just have to. So, But that's okay. It's just a little bit of trim. And the hair is so, so moisturized, I can't imagine that it's going to be like in a bad condition if you keep up with it. It, um, it is a bit of work, though, because you have to wash it or co-wash it, like, at least every three days and wet it. And uh, that means detangling. And if detangling takes a long time, that's what it does. But try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Assalamu alaikum.